All right, welcome to another edition of the Cups and Cakes Vinyl Unveil. My name is Jeff McCallum, and today I get to open for you the new Wet Secrets. This is an incredible album, came out at the end of 2017, took a little while for the vinyl to arrive, but it is available now at the Six Shooter website. We'll talk a little bit more about Six Shooter coming up, and I'll steer you in that direction. But uh, for now, the Tyranny of Objects. Let's take a quick close-up of it. This is the fourth album from The Wet Secrets and easily their best work to date. Uh, if you don't know The Wet Secrets, kind of started out as a joke. Um, some of the members cross over from a very famous Edmonton band called Shout Out 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 Out. And they were just, I think, having some beers or whatever and someone bet um, I think Lyle and maybe Paul that they couldn't start a band and write a record in a week or something like that. It was, the whole thing was just a joke. They did it. Their first record was actually kind of loved by a lot of people, so they did a second. And then as Shout Out Out kind of slowed down, The Wet Secrets became the main focus for Lyle Bell, and he is the principal songwriter, he's the bass player, singer. And uh, now that he's taken it seriously, oh well, I guess a little bit more seriously, they're really putting out some incredible work. So, this album, if you haven't heard it, I urge you to, to give it a listen. Let's take a look at the back here. Now some of these songs you might recognize, they came out on EP, four of them. But it's actually the ones that weren't on that EP that are my favorites on this record. So there we go, uh, done by Nick Kozub at Audio Department. Some additional recording at Triple X by Lyle Bell and The Wet Secrets. Mixed by Gus Van Gogh. Mastered, oh, I'm not gonna know how to say that. <laughs> and the design by Lyle Bell, what we got down here? Six Shooter Records is the label that this is out on, that's their emblem there. And I love their tagline, life is too short to listen to shitty music. Got some grants, looks like. Ontario grants, interesting. It must be because of Six Shooter. Okay, so there's the record. Let's take a peek at the inside. Hey, this is cool, I'm liking this. And I should mention that this wasn't done in foil. Um, I talked to Lyle when he passed this over to me and said that they just opted out of the foil covering. I think more for uh, money sake, perhaps. But uh, I, I don't know what it costs to have that done. If it's a ton extra or not. But I kind of like getting them this way where it's, it's more like you, you get them at a gig type deal, right? Oh, what we got up here. Lyle Bell on bass, Trevor Anderson on drums, Kim Raquel on trumpet, Emma Frazier trombone, Paul Arnoush keys, Christian Maslik sax, and Gravy. New drummer, Gravy. Um, I'm not sure if he actually played on this, but he has become their new drummer. I don't think he played on this. Um, and that's why it says future drum there but he is now their drummer. And um, for those who don't know, Lyle and Gravy also, well, they both play in Shout Out Out, but uh, they also have a two-piece band together called Whitey Houston that is a uh, really, really darn good, got crunchy rock and roll stuff. Let's have a look at this side. Now that's, that's pretty sweet. Got the whole band there. No other markings there, so let's, uh, I guess let's have a make sure nothing else in there. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's black. You know, there's a lot to be said for doing it on black and not enough people do black anymore. There we go. I believe 500 of these were made. So you're gonna wanna get your copy quick because um, it's a pretty popular band. There's the Matrix run out. Uh, can we see it there? There we go, just right there. Yeah, pretty popular band, so I would imagine they will be able to move all 500 of these. 
Okay, that was side B, we're looking at side A now. Very cool packaging. So yeah, 500 available in black. Get over to the Six Shooter website now to purchase your copy, sixshooter.com, I think. If that's wrong, just Google it. <laughs> Sorry for not doing my homework. But uh, I can tell you, Six Shooter's a really great label here in Canada. They're based in Toronto. It was founded by Shauna DeCartier in the year 2000. And uh, they're more than just a label. They do artist management, concert promotion, song publication, and festival production. And they actually created the Interstellar Music Festival in Edmonton, Alberta. Oh, maybe five years ago or so. And then uh, a Winnipeg one started up, but sadly, could not continue. So this year, if you're interested and you're in the Edmonton area, July 20th to the 22nd, it's a beautiful festival. It's in the Horlack Amphitheater. They bring you beer to your seat. It is amazing. And the artists are paired with wine. Like every artist has a wine to go with them. If you're a wine, oh, it's a great festival. This year, they got Feist, July Talk, and Courtney Barnett for the headliners. So they pulled in some pretty big names. Uh, I would recommend you go check that out if you're in Edmonton, again, July 20th to the 22nd. Anyways, that has been The Wet Secrets, Tyranny of Objects. Great record, their best record to date. If you haven't heard it, go get it. And if you like what we're doing here at Cups and Cakes, head over to our website and see all of the other things we're doing because this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have a internet radio show, an interview podcast, and I actually interviewed Lyle of The Wet Secrets on episode 26. So you can go and have a listen to that or find it on iTunes. It's called Inside the Artist Studio. And there's all sorts of other goodies there, written reviews, and we do premieres quite a bit. So head over to cupsandcakespod.com. That's cups, the letter N, cakespod.com. Check out all that cool stuff. And in another two weeks, I will be opening Surf Manitou from the Garys. So you're going to want to stick around for that. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in two weeks.